Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting right to episode 10 of 27. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, let's see why in the world the wall once we broke to Japan. Because I have so many questions ever since last Saturday, and it just, hmm. It came out of batshit nowhere. But it's not good. See, I like the fact that they just show the last, like, two minutes of what happened in the previous episode. But still, it's like... I kind of wish they showed a little bit of what they all thought of after, but still, I mean, I know we gotta watch the opening first, but still, you just, you wanna know, and I hate the fact that we have to wait, like, a couple of minutes, like, ugh. <laughs> Not a prank. Hmm? Exactly. Because remember, the wall's orders are absolute no matter what. They'll have to be. He's not, but he has to be. There's nothing else he can do.
I know. Maybe to test you guys and the fans, possibly? I mean, it could literally be anything. That's the thing. In the end, you'll disband. Sakura will go back to America, and I don't know about the rest of you. I mean, would they be able to still live in that apartment that they had? There's so many unanswered questions. This isn't right. Exactly. Even if you walk around in public, people are probably still going to want to know and ask you. You wanted to come here, <laughs> silly puppy. Yeah. Honestly, it is. Oh, 
Oh, Napoleon Bowen? Oh. Yeah, but no one's going to listen because nobody's there. I mean, okay, hold up. Can we talk about the fact that Nicole's so calm about this? And, and I don't like that. Out of all the characters. Yeah, but she's the most calmest out of this, too. She's not really doing anything. I thought she would have said a lot more. I don't think you did anything wrong. I mean, the thing is, if they could go back into the studio and ask the wall specifically what they thought they did wrong, maybe the wall could ask, tell them like that. But honestly, I really don't know. They possibly took the wall down also. <laughs> that too. You guys were being hold, held like a freaking string and you were just dragging along with it and thought that wall was like, eh, eh. It just, to me, it feels so half ass. Mm. No. Nicole? Nicole. Come on, you can ask her. Be brave.
Nicole, of course, would think that half assed. Strap up. Besides her family? It's complicated. <laughs> I think no matter what, she and the rest of the girls didn't want to go back to their regular lives. I mean, there were some bodies. And... <laughs> and now they're nobodies again. It's just like the world knew every single problem that they had, and this is the reason why. The world wanted them to disband, maybe? I mean, they still always had a normal life, but to come back to their basic regular lives, it just feels weird and off to them. Even to you as a viewer. You say that, but
Apparently not. This is all going according to the law's plan. Watch. I mean, mm -hmm. he wanted people to be riled up to start petitions, do everything that's currently going on in this episode, and then watch. In the end, in the next episode, or by the end of this episode, dude's gonna come back to their house and be like, hey, we're, <laughs> we're getting the group back together. Because he's waiting, waiting for the right time. I don't know. I, I really don't know. It, it's just this was a very sad episode. I mean, each of the girls are so positive about still. Not being in the band, June is still singing, so that still tells you she still supports it. I don't know about everybody else. To her, it feels like she's just given up because she's like, hey, telling her dad that she's coming home. The rest of the girls have, in a way, gone back to their regular old lives, but still, they feel sad about it. And honestly, I think anyone would when you find out that a girl group, a band, what whoever boy band boy group whoever disbands it's probably one of the saddest things that you hear and then because it, it depends on the person sometimes you can be sad for a whole week i've seen people who have been upset for a whole month especially like when the jones brothers just band before they come back together i was livid that day but oh god there were so many people who were worse than me but still like I feel bad for these girls because I was assuming that everything was going to be fine for all these, like, uh, you know, 12 episode series, even though we're not done, we got two weeks left. But what could happen now? I mean, I still feel like the wall is going to wait for a certain amount of time, not a month now, officially, maybe two or three months down the line, and then just be like, hey, you bringing it back together. <laughs> Are we finally getting Nicole's story next week? Stop. No, 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 Because, see, that's why I had always had a weird feeling about those two, and it kept going, like, I feel like these two have known each other, but maybe Mio doesn't truly really remember her because Mio is a very shy, intimate girl, while Nicole is one of those who is very more outgoing. She's out there. She says what is on her mind. She is a very honest girl, and then bada bing, bada boom, right there. So now the biggest thing is because of the fact is we've seen every single girl except Nicole wondering how in the world she got her story and how she was accepted by the agency. Maybe in episode 12, I'm at 12, 11, we might see that. I'm not 100% sure. But I think either Nicole and me or either one, something's going to bring these girls all back together. Somebody's going to be the ringleader, and it could be Mew, possibly, I'm not 100% sure. It could be the wall, because like Mew has said, it's been a whole month, the wall hasn't said anything, reporters probably haven't come up to them anymore and asked them questions on why they disband. There's probably still, you know, fans of theirs still on Twitter, um talking about them not letting them die there's possibly fans making still making petitions and having people sign them so that they can give it to the agency even though there's no one at the agency currently right now they're they're doing as much as they can to let these girls continue with being idols but 
think about the girls themselves going back to what i said that like halfway through this episode they were famous they're still famous but they're not as famous and each girl is like dealing with it in their own certain way june's still singing nicole's about to go to another agency possibly because you know they're still looking at her and picking her up and she says if she goes she can get the fans back neo it just seems like she's just gonna lounge around until she finds another job um sakura's going home uh freaking i forgot the other two names uh Ray Reiko, you know, had to deal with her dad and the fact is that he has like a freaking collage of stuff for her in his house in the living room. Um the blue haired girl with glasses is currently at home just sitting there eating and her mom just left and then what's her face is still doing her manga stuff. So some of the girls still have stuff that they can fall back on while the other girls don't. What do you do after that? Can they even still see each other? There's some girls who moved over here because this was a once in a lifetime um, opportunity for them. And now because it's gone, they had to immediately go home. Because I was thinking, oh, okay, well, maybe they'll still be able to live in the apartment building. And the wall would let them just stay there for free and whatever. No, that wall was like, when I mean disband, everything has to go. The apartment you guys lived in, just everything. You got to go back home and deal with your regular lives but honestly i really have no idea what the heck could happen in these final two weeks of this show it, it's literally anything plus with the fact is that the ova is coming out later on this year i think around summertime as i said a couple of weeks before um which is supposed to focus on three extra members of 227 that we don't really get to see in this show now it's a possibility they could show up in these next two episodes, I'm not 100% sure, but if they're not, then I, I get the reason why they're waiting for this OVA to come out later on in the year. But honestly, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of 22-7. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the National Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 11. Bye, guys.